It's an absolute pleasure for me to be back, my, the second time I've attended uh, this, uh, this excellent event, and it gets bigger and better and slicker every year. Let me first of all just say that I think Chris has very definitely established protocol. I'm very glad I don't have to repeat all that. Um, I don't know anyone who can do it quite like that, Chris, so I, I think you need to get in touch with the Guinness Book of World Records and see if you can get yourself in there, but that was truly, truly impressive. So, as Chris said, I am the governor of the Cayman Islands. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with how governance of the United Kingdom overseas territories is structured, let me first set that out. The people of the Cayman Islands are led by a locally elected government whose pre current premier is the Honourable Alden McLaughlin. Cayman is a highly sophisticated and well-run British overseas territory. It enjoys a substantial degree of autonomy and self-government over a vast range of domestic affairs, including financial services. I am appointed by Her Majesty the Queen and have responsibility for effective good governance in a broad sense, rule of law, internal security, external affairs, defense, and an impartial judiciary and civil service. I'm pleased to report to you that there is close collaboration between myself, our Premier, and his government. This in turn contributes to the stability that helped make the Cayman Islands such an outstanding place in which to do business. I have now served here for more than a year and I have immense appreciation and respect for the quality and commitment to global standards demonstrated by the Cayman Islands government and the financial services industry. Private sector stakeholders, like for example our Case 20 host DART, and executive platinum sponsors KPMG and RBC collaborate constructively with government to advance the interests of both the jurisdiction and the industry. And without a doubt, this collaboration ensures the Cayman Islands is set up for continued prosperity. And I can stand here today and tell you that the relationship between the public and private sectors is in excellent shape. And because of this strong, honest relationship, the financial services industry is consulted on key issues and has clear and direct involvement in changing regulations to ensure the jurisdiction remains competitive on the global stage while complying with international best practice and standards. The environment in which the Cayman Islands financial services industry operates is changing rapidly. However, a cornerstone of the success of the jurisdiction has been its ability to adapt in the face of change and to identify opportunities to anticipate market demands and demonstrate the leadership that has made it a premier tax-neutral global financial hub. From a culture of cooperation and engagement to a beneficial policy of tax neutrality to a commitment to the rule of law, and respect for a knowledgeable and independent judiciary, the Cayman Islands and its financial services industry are poised to successfully meet the changes taking place around the world. And I have been greatly impressed with the Cayman Islands government's efforts to do everything necessary to address the specific elements from the most recent Caribbean Financial Acts Action Task Force review. This is the clearest demonstration of the jurisdiction's commitment to meet the highest evolving standards for transparency, cross-border sharing of information, and effective prevention of financial crimes, including money laundering. And maintaining the jurisdiction's hard-won reputation is key to that success. It is abundantly clear to me that the Cayman Islands has put in place world-class and innovative infrastructure for continued growth and success. And as evidence from what I have just outlined, the jurisdiction has the most effective and robust regulation, which has led it to taking its rightful place as a global leading financial services center. In short, ladies and gentlemen, the Cayman Islands is open for business. The country is focused on making sure family officers the world over know the Cayman Islands welcomes you with open arms. The jurisdiction is the crown jewel in the alternative investment world and continues to encourage investors and investment managers alike to see what the Cayman Islands has to offer. And that's why we are here today at the Cayman Islands Alternative Investment Summit 2020, now in its seventh year and widely recognized as one of the top alternative investment conferences globally. 
So I want to take a moment to congratulate the organisers of the event once again, but also on achieving their commitment to gender diversity, as Chris outlined, to ensuring there is an even split between male and female speakers that you will hear on stage over the next couple of days. For me, this is a really important step forward for the industry, and I pay tribute to the organisers in achieving that. I believe CASE can be the catalyst for change and equality, encouraging the global financial services industry to follow suit and do more, and as a result, show how this diversity leads to better informed decisions and balanced outcomes. So with all that said, I look forward to hearing from these leading thinkers and decision makers as they discuss the challenges and opportunities that define the future of the global um, alternatives industry. So thank you again, and I wish you all a highly successful summit. Thank you very much.